What's going on guys? So it's 4.30, my flight is at 6.15. I'm headed to Oregon for a few days to visit my grandmas um, as well as some of my friends. Um, one of my grandmas isn't doing too well, so I definitely want to go over there and um, just see how she's doing and spend some time with her. Um, wasn't really planning on going to Oregon, but uh, it was kind of like a, kind of booked it two weeks ago. Um, was definitely looking to do something more um, uh, nicer weather, but um, yeah, it'll be nice to go back and see family, um, see my grandma, see my friend, uh, one of my friends. Um, is getting married at the end of this year, so he asked me to be his groomsman. So I uh, definitely want to go hang out with him and you know just catch up and see how he's doing. But main priority for this trip is to go to Oregon and uh, see how my grandma's doing. So I'm gonna be traveling. It's gonna be a two-hour flight there. I'm gonna be there um, Monday to Wednesday night, and then coming back here, and then I'm headed to LA, uh, SoCal area for the. Um, pre-PA conference that uh, Anthony Gothier, Gothier puts on, uh, Journey to PA School, your Journey to PA School. So that'll be really cool. It's at Marshall P. Ketchum. And yeah, I know a lot of cool people are gonna be there. I know Jasmine on IG, um, Amber and Hannah are gonna be there, and a lot of cool people, Aaron. Um, probably just people that you've seen on Instagram and social media, so that'll be really cool to um, get to connect with them in person and just hang out and talk to you guys as well. So if you do see me and you probably, you guys probably won't see this vlog until after that, but I hope I got to meet a lot of you guys and hopefully I'm able to, you know, vlog some of that experience as well. So I'm going to head to the airport right now and I will catch you guys in the next clip. Please proceed to the white paging tower phone and press zero. All right guys. So I just landed in Oregon back where I grew up. Um, before I see everyone though, I'm actually at Starbucks right now because I want to study for about three hours of farm. I do have an exam the week I get back from spring break, so I uh, definitely need to study for that. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try to study every morning or so, um, if I don't have plans, and then just so that I can uh, not get behind. Uh, our spring break is one week long, but we do have a lot of things to uh, study which sucks, but it's okay. Um, still thankful to have the time off to uh, visit friends and family and uh, take it a little bit easier. So uh, here at Starbucks, gonna study for a few hours and then go uh, meet up with some people. Surprise! <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Oh, I missed you! No way! <laughs> That's why I was smiling. Oh, Thanks for giving me the wrong gate code. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm good! This Dang, you weren't surprised. Turn out. Reunited with this guy. What's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs. Yeah. Have you been watching any of them? Uh, Probably not. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched them all. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me these couple days. Hey, no problem, dude. I'm excited for your guys' wedding. Thanks, James. Excited. Oh, wow. uh, matching. Yeah, you guys are really matching. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Dude, what's up? <laughs> Did you expect anything different? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Dude, a reunion. Next to it at the merchandising building, Serena Williams building. That's the one I was on. Oh, Lemonade sherbet. Where's the orange sherbet? <laughs> Good Hi. seeing you, Taylor. Good Aww. seeing you. Nice reunion. Yeah, let's Keep try for next weekend. Yeah, let me know when you're in Vegas. Okay, well. Man, you're gonna be so famous now. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Fortnite with Dylan and Justina. Headed <laughs> to see my grandma. I just ran into my aunt and uncle as they were leaving, so that was nice seeing them. But um, my grandma's been really sick, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Probably gonna not record when I'm in there, but uh, just add her return.
retirement home right now and um, walking to her place. So, yeah, uh, main reason, like I told you guys already, she's pretty sick, so I uh, just want to spend as much time as with, with her as I can and just enjoy the time that uh, I guess we have left together. So, yeah, I'm going to go to her place and we're just going to catch up and hang out. All right, so just finished hanging out with my grandma. Um, definitely one of the harder things, you know, to think about. And um, it's tough when, you know, it's tough when, you know, tough times and sickness is what makes you appreciate someone even more and um, it's hard because when things are going great you don't really think about losing someone or anything like that and so uh, my grandma's pretty sick she's pretty kind of not depressed but she is um, definitely understands her sickness uh, yeah she on medications for it and it's hard for her to eat. She's gone through chemotherapy before. Um, she had breast cancer probably like 10, 15 years ago. And so she understands kind of how hard it is, but she just wasn't expecting to get this. I don't think anyone in our family was. Yeah, so just trying to make the most of, I guess, the opportunity that I have to see her as well as um, see my other grandma. I'm actually headed to my other grandma's place right now, but um, it's tough, you know, when tough times um, is the reason um, something that brings people together and helps you realize how uh, lucky you are to have these people and to not take them for granted. So um, definitely very appreciative of, you know, everything my grandma has done. I know she's still here and um, she didn't want to be on camera. She didn't want to take a photo or anything like that. She's kind of in that mindset. But um, yeah, it was just really nice to talk to her and catch up with her, obviously. And I think I'm gonna try to make an effort to call her even more. So um, I think even just calling her every other day just to say hi is definitely something that she'll like. And I'd like that too. So um, hopefully I can continue that. Um, but on to continue to my next grandma's place. Um, she's doing pretty well, so I'm gonna go over there and eat dinner. Um, it's funny because when you visit grandparents, like, you have to eat to kind of show respect, and that's kind of their way of showing um, how much they care about you is cooking for you. So even my grandma being really sick, she prepared me a little meal. So I'm just so thankful and um, just so spoiled by, you know, their love and, um, grateful that I'm able to be here and hang out with them so yeah this clip is super long uh, almost three and a half minutes but um yeah um, don't forget to tell your loved ones that you love them um, you know every time I leave I always make sure I tell them I love them and um, that I'm always thinking about them so yeah hopefully this encourages you guys to Tell your grandparents, your parents, your siblings, you know, your friends, family, just, you know, that you care about them and that you appreciate all that they do for you, even if you may not seem like it. Um, you know, deep down, we all love our family, so, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, Andrew, what's one thing you want to accomplish in 2018? Uh, I want to get in shape. I want to study harder than before. Um, I want to join a UFC gym and just for fun, just to check it out, see what it's like, get in shape. And then I want to get a raise at work. At, I'd say 5K at least. Thanks for your hospitality. Thank you for me sleep over. Mm -hmm. Offense. Leaving. Good seeing you. You get a violation. For leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing Thank you, you little 22 year old over here. Thank you for the surprise. Yeah. Four and a quarter. Mm -hmm. 
so that I can keep one and give you guys the other. And I was like on Amazon at practice looking at carbon copy notebooks, just notebooks.